Mr. Martin was not killed because he's black. And I think the media and everybody needs to get this straight. This young man was killed because he was a threat. This young man is black. He seemed to be opulent. He seemed to be handsome. He seems to have a lot of power. He has a cell phone. Uh, maybe one with internet. Maybe his IP phone or, you know, kind of whatever those expensive phones. Um, and he looks like he's intelligent. He looks as if he's going to college. And he looks like he might be the president. That's enough for you to be killed, man, in Florida. <laughs> you better don't be smart. As a black man, you better, you know, be some little piece of guy getting a welfare check and, you know, walk in the corner and you see white people, you just, you know, stop and go up your and let them pass. And you'll be okay. Now, um, this cartoon here says that um, you're black in a white hood and um, you're, you know, you hope to be um, shot or so. And um, I don't think that's the case. Um, as I said in another video, everywhere you're seeing Asians and whites looking as they're the smartest out here, they're inventing everything. And, and what about the blacks? Well, blacks are not having a chance. I was driving the school bus for the gifted program, and this white teacher harassing this little black boy that's in the gifted program, and the boy is crying to me. And you know what, I can't do nothing about it, because if I go to the school board, I go to the principal, I go to somebody, the cops can come and lock me up, man, and say I'm, you know, something, because what this teacher was doing is what the community does. You're black and you're intelligent. You look like you're going to be somebody. You, you're supposed to die or supposed to go to jail. In fact, in Florida, in California, the, the cop told me that when the room in the soil, I, I teach. The guy said, you don't teach again when I'm done with you here. So what he did, he said that uh, I attacked him, and I was uh, resistant. I was had my keys in the, the ear, and I, my voice and my hand in the ear, attacking them. And they saying, "Drop the keys, drop the keys," you know, very dramatic. And a black prosecutor, she says, "You think I can believe you over these two cops out there?" You know, <laughs> I mean, he and you know what? And here she recommended that I go for uh, uh, what do you call it again? Um, anger management. I work on the highway. Um, I do three years probation and um, something else. But you see, she was setting me up. This is what the white folks wanted. You see, to get into a, a, a management program, you have to go and see a psychologist. Now, they didn't contact the psychologist and say, hey, man, we want this fellow to go to psychiatry and get placed in medication. So you can say that, oh, you have some problems, bro. You got to go and get treated for that. I can't really let you into this program, bro. No. Um, and the court ordered it now, so you just got to go ahead. You got to go and see the psych psychiatrist. They're going to put something in that water and tell you, just hold on a minute. We're running late. Just drink some, uh, here's coffee, here's soda. Just be happy and chill. We'll be with you soon. And you take that on, man. You're going to really start having some problems. They're going to call in a cop one way or another, saying that you're a danger to society and to yourself. You need to be placed in observation in the psychiatry ward. And you'll never come out because they can keep whatever it is that keeps you psychotic and you're done. In fact, what they did in Florida, uh, they had my girlfriend, they beat her up every day. Why don't you call the, our authorities and say this guy is a threat to you and to society, let us put him in a mental institution. You know, that's it. Um, I was trying to go to law school, and they had this black guy, I think the government got a black guy in there, to say that, uh, man, watch now, you could score more this uh, this LSAT exam if you have some time, more time. And if you tell me you have a mental problem, they give you more time, bro. I mean, how can I do that, man? How can I lie on myself just to get into, you know, some exam and do more time? I, I can't pass those exams. I'm not into this kind of standardized test. I can't pass the LSAT. Don't mind how much time you give me because I wasn't trained that way. I wasn't trained to just show up on a scene and just, you know, read something. That's why people think. Read something and answer some questions. Life is not like that, even as an attorney. If you have some background understanding, it's not that you, this situation is going to be of such that you, your background is going to make a big difference, but you'll be able to, in, uh, to understand the information better if you have an education. Because, uh, you know, you, you don't, you're not going in depth into these matters. And, and, and what's the point in having an attorney? You know, your attorney should be able to say, okay, you know what I'm going to do? These are the things I'm going to do. I'm going to check up on this police to see whether he, he, he has been doing this thing often. I'm going to check up on his... Uh, the, the department, I'll do a pitches motion, I'll do a mortgage motion, see this, the department if they have a racial um, 
quota bias if this guy has been, you know, honest, this, that, you know what I mean? Plus, uh, look at what he's saying here. This doesn't jive with science, you know. I mean, you know, um, genetic science, uh, forensic science. I mean, there's so many different things you could bring in. So, you know, I can't have that kind of thing. But, you know, they're trying to get me into a mental institution. And so, um, I'm going to college. And what they do? I'm sending my uh, assignments through email. They take the professor's assignment and send it to him. I mean, why am I going to send a professor his own work that he gave you, showing you how the, the thing is supposed to work? And then in my email, I said, you know, this is as far as I've gotten. I don't understand this thing, okay? Back to back weeks it happened. Uh, and I mean, maybe they wanted me to threaten the professor or, or try to burn down the campus or something. But I just chill, man, you know? So. I don't think that uh, Mr. Martin was killed because he's black. I think he was killed because he looks like he's a good young man. He's going to be a decent young man. He's going to, you know, maybe be a good attorney. Maybe he's going to be a college professor. He's going to change the dynamics of things. He doesn't have to be a more a sharp tongue going out and trying to help black people in general, you know, because that's another problem. Okay, that's a problem by itself. I recall in Florida, in California. This supposed black guy tell me, say, man, you look like you have a lot of smarts, man. Why don't come and teach us black people how to, you know, organize and get our things together? Now, he could be working for the government. And if the government, I talking with the federal government, if they see me now going out there and trying to organize black people and get black people going to school and, and doing the right thing and not being the market for jail or, or for pushing drugs or, 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 you know, that kind of stereotypes, I don't have a problem in my hand. Because even that guy himself, they promised him, say, man, listen, bro, same felonies you have, they're gone, bro. We want that man disappeared, bro. So here, what are we going to do? You start doing a terrorist thing. Say he threatening this and he planning this and all that stuff. Okay. All right. So you can't even trust black folks to when you're smart. You see what I'm saying? So, again, I'm saying that I don't think this young man died because he's black. I think he died because he's different. Because he was going to make a difference. Because... Um, he probably could have been the next black president. That's why they killed him.